Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to analyze week's data in Power BI. This is week over week analysis. In the previous videos, we saw how to create year over year and month over month analysis. But this week over week analysis is a little bit different when compared to year over year and week uh, and month over month analysis. So without any delay, let's get started. If you look at my screen, this is a blank Power BI report and the data set I'm using in the report is COVID-19 sample data and I got this data set from uh, Microsoft. Um, so, my, so my requirement for this report is to see, is to analyze the COVID-19 data, COVID-19 numbers week by week. So that is my requirement. So for that, the first step I'll do is because, because we want to see the weekly analysis of COVID-19 numbers, the first thing we need to do is add week number to your calendar table. So first check if your calendar table has week number or not. And if it's not there, you're going to add the week number to that data set. So this is my calendar table. And I just have date, month and year here. I don't have week column. So I'm going to add the week column there. So for that, I'm going to go to this uh, data tab and just to see the data, that's all. And I'm going to click here and say new column. And I'm going to name the new column as week num. And week number would be week number calendar date so this will give me the week number for that date i say okay so the first step is done now we have the week numbers for all the data because covid 19 started in 2020 we just have data for 2020 and 2021 okay so these are the two um, Year's data we have, and if you look here for 2020, we have 53. 53 is the last week number, and even for 2021, we have 53 as last week number. So the first step is complete. So now, what we'll do is we'll see the total number of cases for year 2019 first okay so i'm going to click on the year i'll make this a slicer right and change this to list add border to it okay now from the covid data set i'm going to get total number of cases okay total number of cases i'm changing this to matrix and adding border to it okay and to this matrix i'm also going to add the year just to make sure so if you look at this 2020 you have these many cases 2021 you have these many cases and uh, because we want to see the weekly analysis just um, just we'll just take the year off and we'll add week number here okay i'm taking this off uh, and week number if you look here this is the week number is getting summed up so because that's a week number we don't want to sum it so just say don't summarize and save it and now to this matrix, I'm going to get the week number. Okay. Now we have number of cases per week. Okay. This is for both uh, 2020 and 2021. I selected I selected 2021 here. So uh, this is the data for uh, uh, 2021 all weeks until now. Okay. So this is the data. Okay. So, 
Now what we want to see? We want to compare current week's data to previous week's data. Means we want to create a new measure which calculates previous week's data. Okay. So what do you do for that? You create a measure in COVID data set, right? Because that's where you have number of cases. That's why you create a new measure here. I'm right clicking here, new measure and naming the measure as COVID previous week. Okay. Okay. So what's the first step you do? You are calculating previous week's COVID count. So you use calculate first. What are you calculating? You are calculating sum of COVID cases, right? You want this one. The one I'm showing here, sum of total cases, you want this. So sum of COVID cases. Okay. I got sum of COVID cases. Now what do I need to do? Sum of COVID cases is for all the weeks, all the years. But I don't want that. I want sum of cases just for previous week. Right? For that we need to filter our data. We need to filter the required fields. Require we need to filter the required data. Because we are filtering, we use filter function. And if you want to go to next step, you can just say shift and enter and it takes you to next step. Filter. Okay. What do I need to do in the filter function first? I need to remove the existing filters from calendar year. Right? Based on the filter I selected, it should automatically change the value. I, the first step I want to do is I want to remove all the filters from calendar year so for that i'm using all function and giving calendar so second step is i'm clearing all the existing filters that are there in calendar data set okay and so the next thing is whatever whatever value i select in year data set in this year filter that value my that value has to be picked up by this uh, COVID measure, COVID PW measure, previous week measure. So for that, because I want to pick up the selected value from this slicer, what I'll give is calendar year equals to selected value dot year right so my calendar so the calendar year so this measure so this measure has to pick up whatever value I selected in this slicer that is this and the next step is that is this and along with this i need to i also need to get the week value week number so i say and now i'm going to week number so week number is in calendar table so calendar week num equal to selected value of week num minus 1 so this minus 1 will give you the previous week's value that's all and now let's bring this previous week value previous week measure into our matrix okay now compare the data cases for first week because in 2021 for 2021 first week doesn't have um, any previous uh, previous value the first row is blank and if you look from second week previous value is first week first week number one's value Th 
third week's value is week number two's value. So we are getting the right data and now let's change the year to 2020. You see this? So our measure is picking up the selected value from this year and week number minus one. So that is how you do the that is how you get the week over week data in Power BI. And now let's do one more thing. Now I also want to see last year's data for the same week. So let's say we are in week number 30. So I want to see week number 30's data for 2020. How do you do that? You create a new measure again. And name the measure as COVID same week last year. Okay. So first step is calculate. It's almost similar to the previous uh, measure we created. So first step is calculate. What are you calculating? Sum of COVID cases. Okay. And the next step is I am removing the filters and I want to filter the data and in the filtering data the first parameter would be taking off clearing off all the parameters that are there in calendar function for that all all function I'm using to clear all the existing filters calendar table filters have been cleared now and now calendar year value would be selected value from calendar year this is for we are getting the value for previous year right so this will be minus one okay And oops, sorry, and now we need to get the same week number for that calendar week number. We will assign calendar week number to selected value of calendar year week number. And we are all set. Okay, so now let's bring this same week last year to this matrix. Okay, so if you look at the data here, um, 2020. So first three weeks there are no COVID cases and from fourth week the cases the and from fourth week you see some number of cases here. So this is this is the same week last year's data. So this is how you do weekly analysis of your data. If you have any questions Please ask them in the comment section below and if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and see you in the next video.